All right, here now with observation and comment on headline issues of the day. I'm Mr. Washington's senior political analyst, the late Richard M. Nixon. Look out! Look out! Ow! God, what are you doing? Uh, rollerblades. I miss in the morning. Uh, Suicide. Are you sure Vince Foster wasn't wearing these things when they found him? <laughs> All right, just speaking of the late Mr. Foster, though, and apologies to Johnny Cochran. Issue one. They can't make it fit. Please, God, make them quit. <laughs> Enough with the hounding of Hillary by that congenital inquisitor, Alphonse D'Amato. Fifty million dollars down a Little Rock rat hole. One of these whitewater warriors actually nailed down? Well, I can tell you what. Nothing. Zero. Fable. And you know why I'm in? No. Because there's nothing there. No. Hey, God. If I have to sit still for one more second of Travelgate, Madison, Rose Law, Castle Brandy, I'm going to postal clerk a daycare center. <laughs> I've had it. <laughs> Hillary and her husband might, might be guilty of a smattering of imprudence, a little lack of grace and sophistication in the way they conduct business, but that's it. The only thing the Whitewater investigation risks at this point is the entire country storming Capitol Hill to shut up Lock Faircloth. <laughs> man, oh, man. Give it a rest, huh? Uh, issue two, the pain from Maine, or I thought he'd never leave. Senator William Cohen, I dude, yeah. moderate Republican, as he's described. Backstabbing virus, I would defend. <laughs> Cohen's one of the reprobates who voted in favor of impeaching me, factoring my own uh, little travail there, J.D. But all I tried to do, in contrast to these Clinton kids, was take down the entire Constitution. <laughs> Cohen's going, good riddance. Yeah. Except uh, he does have that looker of a fiancé, right? That'll be fine. Now, uh, this is a mixed ethnicity thing. <laughs> Bill Cohen. And Janet Langhart. <laughs> That's being true to moderate Republicanism if I ever heard of it. <laughs> He's got jungle fever. He's got jungle fever. He's got jungle fever. He's got jungle fever. <laughs> Go for it, Bill. Uh, issue uh, three, my man. Billy Ray Dale, the unjustly accused director of the White House Travel Office. I saw him on Larry King the other night, JD. Not for nothing, but there's a little uh, don't ask, don't tell in that boy's carry on luggage somewhere, don't you think? No. Talking a lot of one way trips to Key West. Uh, <laughs> no wonder Bubber wanted him out. He's a ladies' man. Say, uh, diverging here, uh, Paula Corbin Jones can put a name with a face, so to speak, regarding uh, Mr. Clinton's Mr. Happy. <laughs> well, hate to regale you with genitalia, I, but so can every babe below the 33rd parallel. <laughs> she saw it for, what, maybe 10 seconds? Yeah. What's it look like, a sink trap? <laughs> for crying out loud, I've blown my time, Donald. Uh, final matter. Tanya Tucker's marrying her gardener? No. Oh, perfect. Because when he's tossing out pesticide for mealybugs, he can go right from her lawn to her bush. <laughs> First wedding ever to be catered by Black Flag. Ouch! World through a dick's eye, dude, from Dick Nixon, a president who today is himself composer.